So this is day two of the 2021 Advent of Code in JavaScript. I have already completed it in JQ and um, I'm just doing it in JavaScript as well, just to see how it's different. I'm using VS Code and Quokka to kind of see live output as I go along, just because it's a little bit easier. I've already started it um, and I'm going to break this into uh, an array and then I'm going to map it to uh, an object that has um, uh, what do we want? We want it to be um, no. We want it to be the direction const uh, dir and then value equals. I'm gonna make that let um, uh, underscore split space. So yep. And I want to return uh, the direction and value value uh, parse int value ten. Um, so I can see those values are coming out, and then I'm going to do. In fact, I can probably just map it here. There's no point in doing it further down. If direction is equal to, uh, let's change the value here. So I'm just doing a map rather than doing lots of chaining. Um, uh, if direction equals forward, then the const res equals h pos zero and depth is zero and then we're gonna do oops that's not valid is it um we're gonna do res dot uh, depth no h pos equals plus equals value um and then we're gonna do else if direction is equal to down res dot depth uh, plus equals value uh, else it's going to be up and we're just going to minus it um, there we go um, and then we do we don't need to return anything do we Actually, we don't even have to do the map we can just do a for each I guess it'd be nice to get it back but yeah sod it doesn't matter uh, why is it not like that Oh, is it four? Oh my lord, I've been writing other languages for such a long time. Um, and then we've got to put res. Yeah, and we're just going to do dot hpos multiplied by uh, res dot depth. And we have 150, and I think that is the answer it expects us to get. 150. So I've got the uh, the real, that's my uh, puzzle answer with JQ. If I change this to require the real value, uh, does that work? Got not another, uh, why is that? Two dot input, two dot input has that. Oh, I think that maybe, not a number. I reckon that it's because the last value is a um, two dot input. That last value is an empty string. So what I'm going to do is filter boolean. It's just a fast way of stripping out the empty strings or empty values. And now I've got uh, 21471, yeah, that's correct. So that's the answer in JavaScript. I feel like it's kind of a smash over the head kind of solution. Um, and then the B, let's just grab this. And then uh, the B, we also have an aim. <clears throat> and instead of uh, up, down, affecting the depth, it affects the aim. And then the res.depth becomes um value times res dot aim and that's nine hundred that's nine hundred and that's the answer so uh two oh four four six something there we go yeah so same number um so the the question basically uses this uh aim so that when you go uh up and down, it affects the aim value, which is what we're doing here. 
um, and when we go forward we affect the horizontal position and we also affect the depth by taking the value multiplied by the aim and that gives us our answer. Um, I could change this to re a reduce if I wanted to just kind of spit out the value which looks nicer I think. Um, let's just quickly change that since this was so quick. Um, the parsings, pass that in as an argument, change that to reduce, I'll call it um, mm, ack an underscore, and then this becomes uh, ack, 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 and then we have to return ack. And then if we get the value out, can't spread as equals. Uh, cannot access value. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> cool. So, bit of a smashing out one big line. Um, but the the trick really here is I'm quite a fan of this thing. Filter boolean. As long as none of the values are going to be um, like zero, because if we need that, then it will strip out that line. Uh, but it doesn't need that. We know it's a string. It's all good. And uh, that is the Advent code in JavaScript.